shoes, new shoes. Geezy, just some dope for a jump man? I don't know. What do you think? So the reason I asked is because of these boxes right here. And if you know the box, you can you already know what this is. Regular Adidas box. The Yeezy Power Face Calabasas. Let's talk about it, man. Like, the last colorway is the black colorway, and that Joan is still sitting on shelves. Just like the previous pair did, that uh, that graphite one, that gray one. Like, it's like a grayish blue tint, and then we have the tan ones. Those sold out immediately, more so because of resale value. But it seems like the resale is not there anymore. Is that the wave? Can't be. And let me explain why. But before we do that, let's get into a little review about the sneakers. Like I said, we got the black, the gray, and the regular cream. Let's get up close and personal and talk about it. The shoes are dope, man. And let's get into that history again. So the Power Face was originally done by Adidas. Like back in the day, I can't remember the exact time, but it was pretty much to compete with Reebok at the Reebok trainer, right? So this shoe is the exact same shoe from back in the day. Kanye West just brought it back. Only difference is that we have is Calabasas on the side. Now, I like this shoe. Um, I did a video back in the day called The Hump of Calabasas. I really like this shoe, but let's talk about it, right? This is the most important thing that I wanna talk about. People always say that the leather is like great quality. Right, oh, the quality of the leather is so great. No, 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 right? I like the shoe, but the quality of the leather is not so great. It's a very thin leather. That's why it's so plush, right? You can push it and it comes right back. You can bend that motherfucker, it come right back. Everything is all good. It does not matter, you know what I mean? It's only because it's thin leather. Now, there is no tech in the shoe, but what I will say, and the reason why I like the shoe so much, is because it's such a classic look. Look at that. You got this green Adidas right here. You got the red Adidas sign. You know, you got Calabasas. And this green and black, you know, the, I mean, the green, red, and then the black, it pretty much reminds me of Gucci. You know what I mean? It really reminds me of Gucci. Now, we know, obviously, it's not Gucci leather on this joint, but if the leather quality was, like, as great as a pair of Gucci sneakers, you know, this sneaker would be like amazing, you know what I mean? The, I guess as far as like if the quality, you know, match the colors, man, there would be a problem. Like I would have to get like a billion pairs and obviously the price wouldn't be like this, right? So let's keep it all the way 100, right? Don't nobody care about the quality of this sneaker. Don't nobody really care about the look. I know a billion people saying, that, oh, it's ugly, it's ugly, that's ugly. Look, this is a classic look that won't go out of style. Hence, that's why I came back from like the 80s or some stupid shit like that. Nobody cares. All you guys care about is the resale value. And you know something? The problem with that is like you're missing out. You know what I mean? You're missing out on, on like a classic silhouette. And I'm sure if this didn't have, it, no, it doesn't even matter if it say Calabasas. If it didn't have Yeezy attached to it, Nobody would go crazy for it. And I'm probably one of those people that wouldn't go crazy neither. Let me stop stunning on you. But I do really like the shoe, man. It's a classic shoe. For 120 bucks, I wonder how much it really cost them to make. Make this shoe, like I said, it's a very thin leather. Um, nothing really special about the leather or anything. If the quality was better, I'm telling you, if it was like, like a thicker leather, like something real plush and it had that real plush padding in the inside, Man, this shoe would go hard. Like I said before, this is the first one I got that one. I beat this thing up. I know everybody, whoever paid a thousand dollars for it when they first came out, I pity you. You know what I'm saying? Shame on you. You are the true hype beast. Anyway, so like I said, man, tell me what you guys think about the uh tell me what you guys think about the shoe as far as the black colorway. Which colorway is your favorite colorway? Is it the black, uh, the blue, or the tan? Which colorway is your favorite? Uh, me personally, um, this is my first second, uh, and this is my second. This black, I think it's gonna go hard. Um, a lot of people say it reminds you of like a lunch lady shoe, <laughs> and you're right. But it's not as shiny, you know what I mean? Like I said, it's good, man. A nice pair of jeans, summertime, no socks. Go ahead, go crazy, right? Anyway, 
Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Please leave that feedback. All feedback is great feedback. I don't care if it's good feedback or bad feedback. Leave that thumbs up, leave that thumbs down. It doesn't matter to me. I just want the feedback and all yeah. So again, I'm still trying to give this away. You know, share the videos. You know, if you share the video, maybe we can hurry up and give this thing away. It's a video that I did a while back. Um, talking about giving this away as soon as we reach 100 subscribers. That's not that many right now. We're like 20. At the time that I'm making this video, we're like 21. Um, so share the video, get some more subscribers. Leave a comment on that video with this uh, Supreme box. Just leave a comment, leave that feedback. It doesn't matter what it is, good or bad feedback. I'm gonna do a randomizer and I'm gonna give this away. This is my first Supreme pickup. I just received another one. I'm gonna do a video of that stuff tomorrow. Yeah. I'll show you guys that stuff tomorrow. But yeah, um, leave the feedback on there and I'm gonna send that off to you guys. Peace, I'm up out of here. I'm hot, I'm ready to get up out of here. Holla. No time soon.